Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my October wrap up, all the books I read in the month of October. I read a pretty good amount and I kind of stuck to my TBR, which is good. If you guys were able to watch my October um, TBR, I actually had my best friend and roommate Anna pick out I believe it was five books from my October TBR and I'm pretty sure I finished three out of the five which I'd say is pretty good. I also read books that weren't on my TBR so maybe that's where where we, we lost those uh, two books but anyway I'm just gonna jump into the video. I'm really excited. I didn't say this but happy Halloween. I hope everyone has had such a beautiful day. It's been wonderful here in Kansas and and yeah, I just, I love it. But anyway, yeah, let's jump into the books that I read this month. I'm going to start with non-physical uh, books that I read. The first um, one being The Right Thing to Do. And this is part of a series. It is called The Right and Wrong Series. There's three books in this. This is the first book. And yes, it is a Draymine fan fiction. I'm not going to lie. I should have started with that probably. I rated this three and a half star stars. Like honestly, unfortunately, these are my guilty pre pleasures. I'm not really a fan fiction reader unless it's Draco X Hermione. I don't know what it is about the two of them. I've read I've read Manacle three times. I've read The Auction, which is the third book in this series, and so I was like, I read the The Auction already. I'm gonna read the first two books, which led me to to next read All the Wrong Things which is Rights and Wrongs number two, which is the first novel from Draco's point of view. So those two books are the same plot. You're getting a few different things. Like I would still definitely recommend it. And then the third book is The Auction. I'm not planning on rereading that anytime soon because you don't really need to read it in order, but I know the author recommends reading it in order. So if you want to follow her, I would, I would recommend doing that. But anyway, yeah, both of these three and a half stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Actually, I rated all the wrong things four stars. So I don't know. I just love it. I love it so much. I'll say it. I'll say it over and over again in the actual novels, like Hermione and Ron in the actual, or like real canon novels. In the movies, Harry and Hermione. And then in fan fiction, it is Hermione and Draco. But anyway, I'll talk no more about it, but I would recommend them. Um, the next book I read was for class and it was called Black No More by George S. Schuyler. I'm pretty sure this is considered a classic. It was so interesting. I rated it four stars, but the premise was really interesting. It, where a doctor in the United States comes up with this medication or surgery type experiment um, that black people can kind of strip the melanin from their skin and not only does it turn them white but it also changes their hair color and I believe their eye color. The only thing it doesn't change is their voice um, which kind of leads into a conversation of can you tell when a black person is a black person by their voice? Can you tell when a white person is a white person by their voice? And it's just kind of the erasure like what does that do if you erase like the physical appearance um, or physical signs that you may be black and then like how does that later on affect you and I thought our main character was really interesting in this book and yes it is a classic which classics are very intimidating but this one is super short it's super entertaining it'll keep you hooked and you'll definitely finish it in one or two sittings from my personal experience um but yeah i read it for class uh, every book that we've read for this class is so interesting but anyway would recommend this one it's called black no more you can find it on libby or something all the books that i read that i don't physically have so i have four more books that we're going to talk about and i'm just going to go in order of what i read so the first book is the night circus by aaron morgenstern so this was part of my october tbr that anna picked this has been on my tbr probably for two or three years i've been wanting to read this for so long I've heard really great things about this author and while I was reading it I think I had expectations for this novel that it just didn't live up to. I still ended up rating it three and a half stars which isn't a bad rating at all. It, I'm not gonna lie I was expecting more of a romance and because there wasn't that much of a romance I think that's what lowered the stars for me a little bit. I really love the different points of views view that we were able to get within this novel 
and I thought the writing was just so beautiful. The writing was really just so lyrical and poetic and I, I, I loved it just for that. One thing that kind of turned me off is in a lot of reviews I saw that people recommend reading this twice to fully understand it. And for me, I'm like, you should really only need to read a book once to get like, you should still, I mean, I know there's some novels that you read over and over again and you notice things that you didn't notice the first time, but I'm like, usually those are series, whereas this is just a standalone and I feel like it should be a little bit more straightforward. But maybe that's just because I'm not the best reader. But anyway, yeah, three and a half stars. I do think this book is so, so pretty. And I did really like the characters, but again, I was expecting a romance and it's not really a romance if you're expecting that. Okay, the next book I read was Go X Yourself Hex. Sorry, X Yourself. Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. Pretty sure this is a series and I think this is the first novel within it. I honestly have no idea where I got this novel. I thought my friend Anna, the one that picked out this book for me to read this month, I thought she had got it for me, but apparently she didn't. But yeah, I wanted to read this because it is, um, it's spooky month and I was able to finish it. I think I rated it honestly two and a half stars. Let me double check. Yeah, I rated it two and a half stars. It was fine, but it's definitely not a romance that I'm going to recommend to people like willingly. Like it's pretty low on the list. It was fine. It was interesting. The magic system was really interesting. It was a lot different than um, most magic systems that I have read about and understand, which I thought was, I thought was really cool. Like, I like that it was different, but it just, I don't know. It seemed really long for no reason, and I kind of understood the plot. Not that I didn't understand the plot, but the plot point or the thing we were trying to discover seemed really obvious to me, and I don't know if, like, I liked it. I do think it kind of hinted at a relationship between two other characters and I'm like that one actually sounds really good so next fall, next October if I'm wanting like a Halloween related spooky book I might pick up the sequel in the series because um, it did sound really interesting between the two of them. So maybe we'll check that out but yeah and also I just know that this is a Raylo fan fiction because literally look that looks like Adam Driver right there. Please tell me that does not. Like, this is 100% supposed to be a Raylo fan fiction. I mean, his name is Ben in the freaking book. If you guys know Star Wars, you will know. But anyway, there's that book. And then the last book that I finished out of the TBR that Anna gave me was The Teacher by Frida McFadden. This is my first Frida McFadden book. I know she got really popular for her book The Housemaid, which I have yet to read and um, I think this is her newest release from my knowledge. I actually picked this up at a garage sale, which is kind of crazy because it's so new. But yeah, I actually listened to this, which was, I, I love listening to thrillers or horrors because I think it gives it a different experience, especially if you have like earbuds in and you can't hear anything and you're like, oh, I'm kind of getting spooked out. But anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a thriller and I don't, I don't know the concept of thrillers, but I feel like, I guess like I, I there's not like. I don't know how to explain this without spoiling it. Without spoiling it, based on the back, it kind of hints at a relationship between a student and a teacher, which is just so disgusting and uncomfortable to read about. And if you watch the movie A Teacher, which is why Anna actually picked this out, it's like the true horror of this is the fact that a grown adult can have relationship with a child. Or even if, say, if it was a college professor and a student, the power dynamics that are in play there is just so disgusting. And that is like truly horrific. So I feel like that was the true horror in this. But it was fine. I thought none of the characters were likable. Like absolutely none of them. I did not like any of them. Um, but I mean, I'm glad I read it because I was able to read a thriller throughout the month of October. And then also try out Frida McFadden. I do think her writing is can be good. Like I don't think this was the best, but I think it shows. I think it could be good. Like I think if I gave the housemaid a chance, maybe I'd like it a lot. 
I guess we'll see. Anyway, the last book I read, which was one that I just picked up at my local independent bookseller here in Lawrence, was All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. This is my first book by her. I was so excited to read this. I have heard, I don't know, I've heard so many good things about her. And so this was the first one I picked up. I think the next one I'm going to pick up is actually The Wall of Winnipeg in me. So if you guys have read either of these, let me know. I rated this five stars. It was my only five star of the month. I just loved it. It is definitely a slow burn. And I don't, I don't know. The writing was beautiful. It was more, I don't know what I was expecting with her, but I've just heard so many like good things. I didn't, I really, I honestly like, I don't know what I expected, but this was not it. And that's like a good thing. Like this was so, so good. It's just a contemporary romance that is like 600 pages long, but you're going to enjoy every single page and you're going to flip through it so quickly. I read this so fast for how long it is and how little time I have. But I was just like, I have to read. I have to learn more about Rhodes. I have to see what Aurora is up to. But yeah, I love this. I would recommend this to start, but that's just because this is the only novel that I've read by her. But yeah, I'm very excited about that. Those are all the books that I read in the month of October. I'm very happy with my selections. I did have like an average of probably like three, three and a half, three, but the five star. The five star really showed out and I can't wait. I can't wait to read more from her. I will be going and getting this book because they had it when I went last Friday and I'm so excited. So yeah, thanks for um, going through all of these with me. I hope you guys had productive October reading months. I'm really excited for November. My thesis is due this month, so my reading might go down, but that's okay. We're gonna read and just have a good time. Thanks for watching so much and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.